Kenna James. Kenna James. And Kenna, you were, how long have you been in the business for? I've been in the business for over four years. Okay. And you were doing girl, girl, solo stuff for a good portion of that? For two and a half, I was girl, girl only. Okay. And then you decided to make that jump on over? I did. And how do you like it so far? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Better than the girl, girl stuff? Oh, no. I mean, it's not, it's not a better or worse scenario, it's just different. Different things. You need all of it to be happy. Okay, all right, all right. And uh, what got you started in the business? What made you want to get into this thing in, like, in the first place? I never even thought about getting in the adult industry, to be honest. I started out as a stripper in a small town mm. um, and figured that wasn't enough anymore, so webcamming. Okay. Uh, did that for a while and my agent found me on there. And I never considered porn until they're like, hey, do you want to do it? And I'm like, mm, maybe. Okay, nice. So you were like the, the progression, like the standard progression. <laughs> Stripping. I climbed the proverbial ladder. Yeah, and then <laughs> camming, and then eh, we'll put a director and makeup artist there. And <laughs> then we'll add dicks. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of been stair stepping up. <laughs> right? What's next? I don't know. What's, what's the next level? I don't know. We'll just have to, I guess, wait and see. Yeah. Just let, let nature do its thing. Huh? That's how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you were first approached, you know, by, by the agent to, uh, to start do, doing the girl, girl stuff and everything, what was your initial thought? My initial thought was this guy's going to make me into a skin suit. It's <laughs> a terrible first thought to have, but it was. <laughs> so I did my homework and research, found out he was actually... <laughs> He actually was an agent. He was who he said he was. And then I was like, oh, well, why not? Give it a try. So you thought you'd be like in a well, putting lotion on your skin and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you never know when you're going to end up in that scenario. <laughs> right? But now you know how to, re how to react to that. <laughs> Puts the lotion on his skin as he gets the hose again. Exactly. Exactly. So when you got out there, you're like, this is all legit. Like this, you know, I'm making money and mm -hmm. it's, what was your, what was your thought? Were you, were you it's like a, taken away by everything or? I was, um, when I first came out here, it was just blown away that one, everything was actually legit and real. Um, <laughs> Cause there's always a part of me that's very skeptical. Um, but I was really, like, I was really excited to start a new chapter in my life and it was really, nerve-wracking mm -hmm. <laughs> to do something like this. I mean, I can't, I, I look at, you know, how girls get in the business and all that sort of thing, and I can't even imagine that with, if I was 18 years old getting into the whole thing to start off with, like, it's just a lot of things to... It's very overwhelming. Yeah, very. Especially figuring out what do you want to do, what do you want to build your brand as, who do you want to be, it's, it's a lot to, to take in. Yeah, yeah. And then when you were approached with the idea of doing Boy Girl, what was your thought? Um, I, there are interviews out there with me saying I will never do boy girl. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I've learned is I never say never because, well, you never know when that changes. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but no, when I first started thinking about boy girl, I was like, you know what? I've been in long enough. And now that I know, like, I, I think part of it was that I didn't really want to be seen, I think, as a serious, like hardcore porn star. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to leave a little more options open. Mm -hmm. uh, but after after a while, I'm just like, you know what? This is who I am. This makes me money. I'm not ashamed of who I am. I'm proud of what I do. Sure. Fuck it. Rock it out. Yeah. Let's go in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's go all the way in. <laughs> exactly. Now I shoot a lot of girls like first, you know, uh, scenes and casting uh, style things, and uh, we get a lot of girls that are super super nervous when as soon as the lights come on and the cameras you know fire up, it's just like. They're cute and bubbly, and then the cameras come on, and it's just nervousness. Just like, yeah, was that was that how you were initially as well? Um, I was really, really, really nervous my first time. Um, I thankfully had a really, really amazing scene partner. Danny Daniels was my first girl okay. ever, um, and she was help. She helped me a lot by reassuring me. And in, in my mind, I'm like, what if I'm not as good as I think I am? What if I'm terrible? What if what if this doesn't work out? You know. But I can tell any new girl that gets in, just be you. Just relax, don't do anything you're not comfortable with. Yeah. That's my best advice. Let your little freak flag fly. That's and... right, be proud of it. <laughs> exactly. Wave it high. <laughs> yeah. so that's what I tell them all, whenever they get on here, I'm just like, whatever you like, it's not weird. Trust no, me. it's not weird. And they're like, whatever it is, even if you like having sex with blown up balloons, it's, it's not weird. People are doing it, yeah. People do it. People do it all People the time. do it. <laughs> That's a thing. 
it's awesome stuff awesome stuff <laughs> so the the other thing we brought you in is um, you know we're, we're exploring as we grow as a company and everything we're exploring the uh, the female orgasm mm -hmm. and uh, the mysteries and the intricacies behind the whole thing <laughs> uh, and uh, we thought that you know you might be be a good person to uh, kind of bring us through that whole phenomenon and uh, just explain to us a little bit about what you know your mentality is and what your feelings and experiences are like when you're having an orgasm so for me like do you even start to begin to have an orgasm there has to be a certain amount of foreplay like i'm very much like a kissing person like that is my biggest thing mm -hmm. i can't get off without that <laughs> kiss them guys kiss them kiss <laughs> just for the love of god kiss them <laughs> That's how you start the motor. <laughs> so Otherwise, it's a cold start. It doesn't work. That's the key to the ignition right there before you can even turn it on. Just... It is at least for me. That's my key. Okay. <laughs> so you like a little intimacy to go along with, I with the do. whole thing. That okay. goes along with me, though. I'm very much um, a passionate person. So I want someone with as much passion that I have for it. You know, I That's like true. eye contact. I like the, the mental intimacy as much as the physical. Mm -hmm. um, so that's my turn on. Mm -hmm. That's how it works for me. So that gets you guys, that, that fires up all the cylinders, gets everything going. Yeah. And then, uh, what, what, when you, do you know, how far into the sex do you know, oh, this guy's going to make me come or, you know, whatever it is, or is it you that makes you come? How does it work with you? Usually, you know, pretty quick if the guy's going to be able to make you come. Mm -hmm. It just, especially when they go down and start eating you out, like, you know. Like, you're like, okay, well, I'm not really going to have a real orgasm this time, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> now, is there, now, now, this is kind of like almost turning into like a how-to for guys here, um, guys that are watching this thing. <laughs> what kind of techniques would you, would you, uh, you know, would you say for them to use? Start off slow. You don't have to go at it like it's the last meal you're ever going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I need to start slow and like... People love to pull the hood all the way back off the clit. Sometimes that's not the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. Like there, like all of our nerve endings are right there. Mm -hmm. So you put too much on it, and it's like, whoo, okay, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much. <laughs> too much overstimulation. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just kind of follow her signs. Like that's the best advice I could tell you. Pay attention to her body language. That'll tell you everything you need to know. Right, listen for the oohs and ahs. Listen and... to the oohs and the ahs. Feel her body, how she tenses. If she tenses up, you're doing something right usually. <laughs> Unless she's in pain, and then you can see that on her face. Keep hitting that so, button. Don't don't hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Now for you, I know as a guy, you know when we have an orgasm. I mean, guys is like we get one or two, and then we're you know we're done. You guys can have you know countless. Multiple. <laughs> when we have an orgasm, our whole body is just shutting down for a second. And you know, it shoots out, we get this great feeling overcomes us and then we're you know, we're we're good to go. <laughs> what uh what's the what's the physical feeling that you guys feel when this is going on? For me, uh it almost feels like I don't know if you've ever skydived or jumped off a cliff or anything like that. But All that feeling, like right before it happens, you feel that adrenaline rush and then it's like you just jumped off and it's just a free falling feeling for a minute. Wow. Yeah, that's what it feels like for me. Wow, <laughs> that's I the like best that. description that's I have. That's a good description. I, kinda, I get it. I get it. I have skydived before, so yeah. It's just that, that pit in your stomach, and it's just, oh, it's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. And I know each, every girl is different, you know, mm -hmm. but for a guy, what, what are some telltale signs of girls faking the orgasm with you, and, or, or whether she's having a real, genuine orgasm with you? What are, what are, what are your, uh, you know... I'm asking you oh. to give away your tells here, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess it depends again on the girl. Um, but a lot of the stuff, like always look for quivering. That's a good sign that it's real. If you know if she's shaking, and, I mean, typically you can tell fake sex sounds. Mm -hmm. Most people can anyway. Like if she's like, uh, uh, <laughs> she's probably not into it, dude. You're probably just better off quitting. <laughs> like, the disinterested sounds. Yeah, the disinterested sounds like, yeah, right there, right there. <laughs> it's not a good sound. But I mean, typically, like, if a girl's really into it, she's gonna like grab your head and she's gonna just reach for you and grab. And 
that, just go right at it. Yeah, as good as you she's do, into or, it. Yeah. <laughs> Either she is or she isn't. But I'm like, yeah, okay, got it. Like, yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Now, on like, if you're with a good partner, how many orgasms do you usually get? More than I can count. Wow, mm -hmm. it's just a wave. It's just going. Yep. So once that's... I start, and I'm I'm kind of like an energizer bunny. Once it starts, I'm just going. Like it's not hard to get me there again and again and again. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you've already gotten there, so <laughs> just keep going around, around that track. Just keep hitting that spot over and over again. That is awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Now, when you first had your first orgasm, uh, was it like, were you kind of freaked out? Because I know a guy, you know, as a, as, a, as a young guy, the first time a guy has an orgasm, we're like, oh my God, what just happened? You know, we, you know, we, don't, we don't really know what, what went on. What was your first experience like with that? I relished in it. <laughs> <laughs> It was just the greatest feeling. And did you know, like, this is, I'm having an orgasm right now? You know, I think I did. I mean, from as far back as I can remember, I've just been a sexual thing. Okay. Like, always. My entire life has just been that way, so. Wow. Wow. Nothing yet. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> that is great. And do you uh, use toys in your personal life? I do. Yeah. Use toys. Okay. Occasionally. Like, typically I, I go with old reliable, but... <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. That is uh, been pretty informative. I, I like what we've covered here. <laughs> <laughs> covered a lot of ground, sure. I feel like. So we've explained the orgasm. Um, I'm ready to, to see one here. We'll see if we can get you there, you know, and, uh, and uh, have some fun here. What do you think? I'm down. Let's do it. Let's get you naked then. <laughs>